Galatians chapter 5 verse 23. It says, but the fruit of the spirit is what? Then? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Verse 23. So the fruit of the spirit is all about bringing the revelation of Christ on earth to those who do not believe or once believed. Remember, everyone was once a Christian, but something made them go back. Are we clear? Or number two, someone does, does not believe. And we are responsible to make these people believe. Tell me about we are responsible. Yes. Matthew chapter 10 verse 16. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. But ye therefore be wise as what? And harmless as a what? As a dove. Don't harm people back. Tell anybody, don't be vengeful. Don't be a person of revenge. You know, I, I, I just try to use these boys especially. They have been with me the longest. I wonder how many times I've fought with you. Maybe I said something negative, but you never raised it. You, you, you kept quiet. They never avenged. And by not avenging, they give me more hope of improvement. Because sometimes I sit down and say, wow, that conversation did not go well. Are we clear? At least some of you now found that I've not worked on my anger. I used to have real anger issues. They, know they will avoid me 100%. Is that David in the office there? Something happened this month. I entered like this and they left. By the time I looked back, I said, where have they gone to? They have left all of them. And I imagine, if it were not the fruit of the Spirit, we cannot be together. Is it true? Tell your neighbor, without the fruit, we cannot be a church. We cannot be together. I tell your neighbor, I'll punish you without the fruit. I'll, re I'll revenge. Tell your neighbor, I'll revenge. But you see, Christ is not leading us to those things. Tell your neighbor, forgive. Tell your neighbor, by the way, I love you. Tell your neighbor, as I see your nose, it is pointing in the direction of where I'm going. <laughs> Hallelujah. We are sent among wolves, but for us to be able to serve many, we must be willing to develop what? The fruit of the what? The spirit. But unfortunately, sometimes we have wolves in church. Even me, I can be a wolf. Are we clear? If I don't develop these fruits, I'll be a wolf. True. Most of us go to church for power gifts. Power is not everything. After power, we need to see food. After you are healed, you need to eat. Is it true? Not everyone is coming for deliverance. Not everyone is coming to be paid for. Are we clear? Some people are coming for receive a family. Yeah? Maybe I took advantage of Bako. Maybe she called me and I told her, send me more credits. I, I was a wolf for that moment. Is it true? I forgot I should develop. So if I can't develop the fruits in me, I will finish all of you. I'll be carrying the offering basket, go with it at home. Is it true? I'll be looking at uh, after removing, I carry the basket, I go with them. Is it true? Since the ministry started, I've never taken money from the church. It's since only since last year, this early this year, that things have been trying to be changing things. Never. And it's them who made the decision, not me. I didn't, I'm not ever interested. I am a blessed man generally. I have good businesses doing. Wolf. Wolf will make me use Kelly. I tell Kelly, run to town. Come back. Run to Kisarian. Come back. Run to Nakuru. Come back. And not buy him lunch. Is it true? And not even tell him there? That's a wolf. And if you see, most of people who are so going to church, they say, I'm being used in church. Is it true? Do you know why they said that? Because there's no fruit of the holy. And we must develop the fruit ourselves. Acts chapter 20 verse 29. Acts 20 29. May we develop the fruits in Jesus' mighty name. Say, help me God. Develop the fruits. For I know this, that after my departing shall grievous wolves do what? Enter in what? Among you. Not sparing the what? Not sparing the flock. The wolves which will come and eat everything. Eat, eat, eat everything. Eat everything. May we not kill each other. Tell your neighbor, may we not kill each other. May we not fight each other. It's very possible to fight each other. It's possible for a man of God to fight someone. And it's possible for someone even to fight the man of God or to fight the leader. Is it true? 
very post. It's a, it's a small line, I'm telling the truth. Because we have our own temperaments. And the Holy Spirit, the fruit, when it develops, it changes our character. So not everyone comes to church for power gifts like healing, deliverance, and more. Some people want a family. Tell your neighbor I'm your family. And I'm sorry if I wronged you. Find it in your heart to forgive me. What, did they forgive you? Are you sure? Tell your neighbor, Nakupenda. Nisamehe. Yes. But a family can only be a reality if you only keep and develop the fruits. One thing when we're doing marriage counseling, the person who did marriage counseling for me and my wife, he told us, I don't care if you have money or anything, but learn to forgive. That's the only thing he said. I said, what do you mean learn to forgive? He said, this man will wrong you. Yeah, he will wrong you. He will do something so bad and you'll be so angry and you even regret you got married. But if you don't forgive, the marriage is over. And it came it's true in life even. If I can never forgive anyone or anyone forgive me, that relationship is what? No matter what you do. There's no cancel can overcome the thinking of forgiveness. Do you understand? The thinking of what? Even if I take you to a counselor or we talk 20 days, but if you have not thought of forgiveness, nothing can happen. That's why Jesus says, if you start to pray, forgive. Is it true? Before you start praying, forgive. Imagine. Then your prayers will be what? Last time I was sharing about long suffering, the things I've gone through here. And I was mentioning some of them. I just need to forgive. It is painful. Even they were asking me, how do you forgive them? I said, because they don't know maybe. Or maybe they were under influence. Let me forgive. Let me forgive them. And it's so hard to forgive. So difficult to forgive. Tell your neighbor, to forgive is very difficult. But I choose to forgive you. And part one, I talked about the fruit of love. Is it true? Then I talked about the fruit of joy. Then I talked about the fruit of peace. Then I talked about the fruit of love. Is it true? Long suffering, sorry. Today I talk about the fruit of gentleness or kindness. Tell your neighbor, be gentle with me. Tell your neighbor, smile with me gently. Look at your neighbor, tell your neighbor, smile with me gently. Mm -hmm. What is gentleness? It's not being harsh or violent. Tell anybody it's not being harsh or violent. Some people are very harsh with their judgment towards you. You have done umekuna tu chai kibati mano kuna jani chai yake. Ana kuweka na kikombe viboko na kikombe. Who has ever been hit by a cup because of you took someone's tree? Kuna watu sufuri na kufuata hata. You are wondering, what did I do wrong? Huh? That's the small things I'm talking about. Gentleness. Gentleness. Be gentle. Be kind. Are we clear? Some of us are not kind with our words. You, someone has offended you, go tell 50 people. 50 people. You tell everyone, do you know that guy? Do you know that guy? Do you, know? you are so harsh. You are harsh. I have a law in my life. Law number one, never discuss anyone. The day you start discussing someone, someone else will start discussing you. Simple as that. If you talk negative about people, people will talk negative about? Simple. Stop discussing people. I fight with Rahab now. It's my fight between and Rahab, okay? I will not go and tell Miriam, do you know, I fought with Rahab today, eh? Kwanza Rahab, hey, what am I doing? Is it helping you? Is it adding value on you? And that's the problem in church. We wrong each other. There's no way we can live here and fail to wrong each other. Is it true? There's no way. Especially in the service unit, there's no way. Someone will park on your parking spot. I know soon we'll be flying in. Amen? Amen. Then you find out Cheng has put his helicopter where Dick is supposed to put his helicopter. So Dick said, I've wasted fuel moving around. Just for you to remove your helicopter. Oh Cheng, I tell you, even if you're a billionaire like me, I can remove fuel in your plane. Ah! That is not kind. Is it true? In case you just look for another place to park his helicopter, go tell your chain, today what inspired you to park here? And you laugh about it. We are done. Is it true? Tell your neighbor, don't be, don't be harsh. Listen to me. I've come to realize this. And it's not a bad thing. And it's not also a good thing. 
if you can talk to about someone in a harsh way or around people, that person will never come down. You're the one who's coming down. It's your thinking you're building, okay? Because people will develop a mentality towards you. Like this guy. Like for me, truth be said, anyone who came and told me anything about someone, I've never told them anything. Even I've never called them or made them close to me. I keep quiet. I avoid them 100%. It's the truth. It changes people's perception. That is harshness. You're not kind towards people. Tell them be kind. What is kindness? It's not being violent. Tell them about not being violent. Have you seen people fighting in church? Who has seen people fighting in church? You have never seen? Hey, Commando and Rambo. Leave parliament. Parliament is better. You have to say Jesus even whipped people. <laughs> no, 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 no. You lack understanding. Violence in church. How can two members in church not talk to each other for one month? What did the person do to you that you can't forgive? You lack the fruit. Tell your neighbor, if you keep quiet for me for even for one day, tell your neighbor, if you keep quiet on me for one day, I know you have no fruit. I have learned to say sorry very quickly. Even if I wrong you, I call you immediately and say, so, I'm so sorry. I, I'm so sorry. I have said there's no way you can be too big to apologize. Did you hear what I'm saying? You can never be too big to what? Even if it's to kneel, kneel. Say sorry. Say sorry. My daughter, I forgot to bring for her something. She asked me, did you bring it? I said, I forgot. I'm sorry. Say, I remember tomorrow. I'm so sorry. Yes. You are not too big to apologize. It means you lack kindness in you. When you are a gentle or a kind person, you are desired. Tell anybody you are desired. And your presence is valued. How many of us love kind people? You love kind people? Yes. Someone can work with you, they have money in their pocket, but they will not buy you food. They tell you every one of us is in a journey. Hey, be kind. Buy even water for your neighbor. Is it true? Yes, buy even. You have 10 shillings, you can buy KDF. Split it. Is it true? Some people are not kind. And that's why you're not valued. Even if you go from church, we don't miss you. We thank God you have gone. First of all, it's a testimony time. We have a testimony, brother. So, or sister, so has left church. We thank God. She's not kind. He's not kind. He's so rude with his words. Your presence is missed. It's not missed. Tell the neighbor, may you miss me from today in Jesus' name. I will buy you cock. Tell the neighbor, I'll buy you cock. I'll buy you chicken. Tell the neighbor, I'll buy you pizza. I'll buy you a burger. <laughs> Second Corinthians chapter 10, verse 1. You see, one thing, and I want you to remember, one day I will not be here. But the question is, what will be left in your character is what matters. I'm not going now, Henry. I'm just saying one day, okay? I want to leave you guys to be in charge. How will you live when I'm not there? Will you fight each other? Will you say, I'm the leader? The man, the man of God trusts me more. You keep quiet. The true test of a church is when the leader is not there. Are we clear? One month this year, I will disappear for all month. I will not be here. 100%. Yes, I will watch how you behave. When I come back, I will see reports. I will hear if Dickens was eating the offering with Henry. I will hear if Baco slapped someone in choir. Yes, I will hear. I will hear if Richard carried the computer to at home and told Kelly, if you dare talk, if you dare talk, there's what we call the second circumcision in the Bible. I will use it on you. We will see. I'm telling the truth. And I said the true test of people is when the leader is not there. When Moses went to the mountain, the revealing of the character of the Israelites was shown. Is it true? They said, turn this goal into a God. Is it true? It's always shown. Second Corinthians chapter 10 verse 1. What does it say? Now I what? Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Even if he, Paul is not there, they miss Paul. And if I'm without Paul is there with them, Paul is humble. Is it true? He's kind. Tell anybody I'll be kind to you. Tell anybody I'm sorry I've been rude to you, but I know I've been snobbing you. Tell anybody I know I've been snobbed to like in Are you kind to the 
are you the kind of person if you are not around people will celebrate or people will desire to see you just answer by yourself when you leave home are people happy you have left home some of you know that parent when he goes how you guys wish